Hey guys, Chef Tom here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to sharpen a knife. Uh, so we're gonna sharpen a knife with a whetstone. Um, so some whetstones require you to just brush them with water. Uh, this whetstone right here requires you to soak it in water for a couple minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. All right, so the bubbles stopped coming out. I'm gonna take it out. And we're gonna start with 1,000. So when it comes to whetstones, the lower the number, the more coarse the stone is. So like anywhere from like 500 to 800 is for like fixing knives that have dents in them or like really, really dull knives that have rough edges. And then once you get to a thousand, maybe a thousand to like 3000, that's just for like general maintenance of a knife. And then when you get to like 5,000 to 6,000 range, that's more of like a fine polish on the knife. Like you'll pretty much end up your sharpening with a bit of a polish. So this is how I like to do it. I like to do like a twisting motion to get along the entire length of the knife. Um, and then I switch sides and do the same thing the other direction. Now you could do it in a way where you kind of pull, push, pull, push, and then kind of go like this over and over. I feel like that doesn't really get the whole length of the knife evenly. So when I do it, I like to do like a swiping motion along the entire length. So when you do it, you don't want the knife to be flat, but you want it to be at a slight angle, like 15 degrees or so. So that's what I'm gonna do is 15 degrees and we are on the 1,000 stone, 1,000 grit stone. So here I go. And I'll probably do like six swipes on each side and then I'll alternate. And I'm putting pressure on there. I'm probably putting about five pounds of pressure on here. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a burr on one side and you can tell by feeling it what side that burr is on. So what you're doing is you're kind of creating like a little like curve in it. And then as you progress, that curve will kind of like snap off because when it might not look like the knife's not sharp, but on a microscopic level, you have a situation like this, where like the tip kind of has like a little teepee top, if you will, and it's not aligned. So when you either hone a knife or sharpen a knife, you're making this happen right here. So. The burr is definitely going in this direction. And I kind of like to uh, I'll, like, twist my body when I'm doing this, basically. Just making one sweeping motion. So this is an old knife I got when I went to culinary school in like 2004. So I mean, it's like 15 years old right now. I mean, it's got me a lot of good use. You don't need to go buy a knife like all the time. Like if your knife's not sharp, don't go buy a new one. Work with what you got. Splash a little water on there. I'm gonna kind of wipe this off. Be careful when you're wiping a knife. Do not wipe the sharp end. You always go on the, the blunt edge. If you wipe it with a sharp end, you'll cut right through the cloth or towel or whatever. You'll cut yourself. Do not do that. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, having a sharp knife is just, it's actually safer because you're not like trying to put so much force on the knife when you're cutting. And that way you don't accidentally slip. So you have 15 degree angle, getting that burr working. So then I'm gonna switch sides now. 
We're going to go 6,000. Pretty much the same concept. We're going 15 degree angle, about six swipes on each side. When you're doing it on the polishing side, you don't have to press so hard. And so the 6,000 side is more of like a polish. And you can see we're getting like little microscopic shavings of metal. That's what that dark stuff is. So, I mean, we can wipe that off, kind of wash it off. But uh, yeah, you don't want to do this around like food or anything because you'll get those shavings on there and uh, you don't want those metal shavings in your food. And then I like to finish off with a honing knife or honing steel. So what I do is I put it down at a 90 degree angle to a surface, a towel, or you, I mean, you could just be like this and just do this at a 15 degree angle also. So the true test of a knife being sharp is if you can do this. I hope that answered a lot of your questions. Just remember that a sharp knife is a safer knife. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.